actually a catch weight bout, which explains the size of these competitors. Exactly. Coming in at 79 kilos. Quite a few catch weight bouts on the card tonight, actually. I'm, I'm a big fan of catch weight bouts. Yeah, don't cut the weight if you don't need to. Exactly. I mean, we have seen a lot of problems with people cutting too much weight, and, you know, we don't want to see any more of that. All right, Henriksson started off with traditional glove touch. We have seen him before fake the touch gloves and then actually go for a for a shot instead. But he's kicking off his uh, his A-class amateur career here properly. Nice solid jab to the body there. Come on, Vestros, get behind these warriors, make some noise. Both guys sizing each other up a little bit. Trade leg kicks very oh, very the leg, leg kicks leg that kick. I talked about from Frias Kaki. He does. Uh, uh, at his uh, Fight Club Rush debut, he threw some very hard uh, leg kicks to his opponent. Both guys standing very close to each other here. Yeah, very patient. Yeah, I mean, they're picking their shots, but they're definitely not afraid to, uh, afraid to throw here. Beautiful body shot by Yuan. I like that one a lot. Bit of a sneaky setting up with the lift. Ooh. Keeping his hands a little bit low there is Henriksen. Doesn't look like e either either fighter is looking to take the other guy down. Looks yeah, like must they're both be content with the boxing match right here. Which I'm pretty sure the fans here will enjoy. I think it kind of feels like they're still trying to find their rhythm, and it does take a little bit of That's time. Really but I mean, if they are not wasting any time training mm. shots, doing so. Beautiful body kick by Henriksen. I think perhaps. Kakai should set up his kicks a little bit more, perhaps a couple of jabs, confuse a little bit. We saw level change there, but nothing that materialized. And that is, of course, Kakai uh, with the blue trim on the gloves and Henriksson with the red trim. Nice uppercut there from Henriksson. That definitely got Kakai's attention. Beautiful shot. But both these guys, I mean, they know how to take a shot, and they're not afraid to do so either. And, I mean, I love the matchmaking on the car tonight. I mean, uh, nobody is getting an easy fight. I think most fighters are very evenly matched here tonight. Uh, we see that just off the bat. Nice combination there. Second shot didn't necessarily land, but Kakai fires back. Oh. Ooh, looping Kakai. right hand by Kakai. Missed it. It was a very well noticed there from uh, from Henderson. I like that front kick from Kakai. Again, one of those snapping leg kicks, and we are seeing actually some redness on Henriksson's left leg already in the opening round. Another very nice body kick there from Henriksson. Definitely looks at fire back. He's been taking a few of those now. And sometimes, I mean, you've got to take a couple of shots in order to figure out your opponent's rhythm, figure out their timing a little bit. I mean, it can be worth to take a jab, take a leg kick, just so that you can kind of figure them out and know how to counter properly. Definitely. Oh, Ooh. nice combination. Oh, he dropped Kakai him. drops him. Henriksen is right up on his feet again. Henriksen fires back, though. He's not out of this. And Kakai... He's, he's got... He's got the guillotine. I don't think he's got their hands locked, though. No. Time, time, break, break. And there we, there was some confusion there regarding the end of the round. We could hear the t the ten second count. Yeah, we heard the ten second count, but the fight did continue. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Resulting in Henriksen taking a few shots that he shouldn't have taken. Coach Humbert is not happy. Oh, definitely not. I mean, his fighter did suffer from it. It, it, it seemed like perhaps the, the referee didn't hear. I mean, it definitely was when the fight was heating up. So, but I mean, that was a, a very the fight definitely picked up towards the end of it. Uh, how kind of hard to score? What would you say? De definitely. I think I would give the edge to Firas uh, with that last barrage. The question is, though, if that last barrage actually did come within the allotted time. I mean, still, though, it is something that the judges will think about. Yes. But I, I mean, did like the fact that Henriksen, he fired back even though he was heading backwards. And, you know, he was taking shots, but he wasn't afraid to throw even though he was pedaling backwards. Yes. And 
there we go. Round two kicking off. To see if Kaka can keep that momentum going. I mean, they both did trade a, uh, pr some pretty strong, another nice little combination there from uh, Henriksson, but he's tended to, m he's missed a little bit with his second shots in those combinations. Definitely, he's setting, it, setting him up with the low kicks, but not really connecting with the hands. But he's not discriminating, he's going low and high with this one. Oh, nice little jumping front kick there from Kakai. And another snapping hard leg kick. Has his eyes absolutely fixed on his opponent. Oh, Ooh, beautiful right hand by Henriksen. Nice hook there. Just for and it seems like Kakai might have injured his eye a little bit, but that did not look like an eye poke. It looked, might have been a knuckle. Let's see if we can get a replay here. But I mean, just seeing it from here, it didn't seem like it was an outstretched finger. It definitely seemed like an overhand right. Yes, it looked like a punch to me. Here we got the replay. We didn't actually get a replay of the actual shot. Just the, yeah, the referee stepping in there. If it, can we get the replay? The, okay, that's it. And it looks like there might be a little bit of damage to Kakai's left eye, actually. You yeah, can he see looks it bothered. Visibly, yeah. Still, though, I mean, if it was a knuckle, I mean, why it shouldn't have been stopped like that. And I wonder how this will impact the rest of the No point, no point question. No, that I just did not seem like a foul, but uh, I'm seeing even more of the other. Uh, yeah, Firas is affected. He is definitely affected yeah. by that. Coming in with beautiful one two combinations. And another. There you go. He does have a, a great left Ooh, kick. Beautiful counter combo there by Yuan. Well, he's looking for that uppercut for us, is, but Yuan is reading it. Yeah, I, I feel like he's he's uh, Henriksen is timing Kakai's shots pretty well. Another good body kick. I def I, I'm definitely liking Henriksen's body kick so far. Looks like he's easing into the fight. The more the more the fight goes, the, the more comfortable he gets. And he, he obviously recovered nicely uh, following the first round. Yes. Ooh. And I kind of feel like Henderson should have followed up a little bit more. I mean, he yeah. has Kakai backing up. A nice double jab there. He's against the cage now. Henriksen stalking his opponent, but Piraz is in this. Oh, beautiful oh, right hand. Great right and, hand. And, it, and the mouthpiece is out, I think. Yeah, Henriksen looks stunned. Referee stopping to put the mouthpiece back. Fight right, continuing here. Let's see if Kakai can continue that momentum. Oh, oh and got our first takedown attempt, pressing it up. Oh, no, let's go right away. Henriksen wants none of that. Much like a lot of his team, to be honest. Exactly, they, they always exactly. They prefer to keep the fight standing. These guys are definitely going for it now. The momentum is switching back and forward. Kakai keeping up with those snapping leg kicks. We're seeing a lot of visible redness on the left leg of Henriksson. Yes. Henriksson also landing more and more. He's getting more and more effective with his strikes. And it's like we talked about the earlier in the first round. It takes time to sort of find your rhythm, find your pace. And another great leg kick. I think those will definitely start impacting Henriksson in the third round if it goes up. It was a little hard to see, but Kai might have connected with a hard uppercut there just at the end of the round. Close round there of the second one. Much yes. harder to score than the first. And Henriksson <laughs> is fired up. I love it. There he is, appealing to the hometown fans here in Mercedes. That is wonderful to see, a showman. And like I said, hard to score, but uh, Carl, what would you say, what advice would you be giving to uh, Johan Henriksson right now if you were in his corner? I think Johan Henriksson is, is just improving. I should just keep going. He looks also very fit, you know, standing up and screaming to the crowd. You know, keep, keep being active, keep connecting with those combinations. He starts low and then he fires up at, at the head. 
seconds out. And I certainly hope these two gentlemen keep this pace going because it has been a great start to the night so far. Definitely. And we're obviously seeing some weapons of choice. I mean, I, I like the way that Henriksen is throwing body kicks and also the ducking under combination, uh, going to the body, even to the head. Uh, Kakai, obviously, with some very strong leg kicks and a nice uppercut as well. Both, both guys really want to show the crowd a, a true fight tonight. Oh, there you see it. He starts with the body, and then he combo. moves up to the head. Nice inside leg kick there. Got Kakai a bit off balance. It's almost a mirror fight, you know? Both guys sh choosing kind of similar weapons. And like, if you hit me, I hit you back. Yeah, exactly. They, they're definitely going back and forth trading shots. And I think really the question is, is who is going to connect the hardest first? Yes. Ooh, the counter hook. And Kakai improving as both guys really are sort of easing into their own game. Looks to me, you want to slow him down. You know, there's yeah. he's getting hit now. Oh, that was a he's very getting, hard right. Looks to clinch. He's, he's got the head and arm. Kakai's got the head and arm. Ended up in half guard here, looking to pass. Beautiful head head positioning here by Firas. That is something that is a little underused by fighters. So I'm using the head to pin your opponent down. Uh, it's an effective technique, unfortunately it, not seen as often as it should be. Exactly. That half guard is open. If he wants to, he can pass. Yeah. But a lot of fighters, you know, they prefer to ground and pound from the half guard because it keeps their opponent flat on their back easier. Exactly. I mean, Randy Couture loved just sticking in the half guard and just, you know, banging on his opponents. And he is landing shots on you one right oh, now. Yeah. Nice job keeping Henderson down there. Oh, that was a hard right hand from the top. And you see Henriksen holding on here. He, he, he needs to frame and he needs to shrimp. But right now he's holding on because he doesn't want to get struck in the face. Yeah, that's true. He's not really doing enough to escape. There he yeah, tried to buck a little bit, but he's just not doing enough. Beautiful work on the ground here. I think we're going to see a pass to mount. There it is. Yeah. Full mount by Faraz Kakai. He's going to take the back. Well, but it might be a little overextended. there. He was probably too high. I think he's going to slide off. He's, still, he's going for the leg. He's going for the leg lock. Faraz holding on here. Henriksen's got to get up and shake Faraz Kakai off. And he's landing strikes. And he's almost falling off. He's trying to grab the leg. Go for a knee bar here from the back. That would be a beautiful finish if he can get it. Kakai is doing a great job at staying in a dominant position despite almost being shaken off twice. You see how he's hooking his leg there? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's out. Oh. Yuan is out. Hendrickson ends up on top. And let's see what he can do to end up with his disadvantageous position here. He ends um, up... In Oh, and it might be too little too late for Henriksson. I mean, he did give a top position, but he didn't manage to accomplish a lot while there. We'll see. It was a close. I mean, the first two rounds were pretty close. Very close. I would not want to be a judge right now. <laughs> Both guys wearing him a fight. I mean, they gave it for all. They left it all in the cage, and they set the bar high. They definitely did. And if this is the standard for tonight, we're in for a cracker of a show. Oh, definitely. This was... This is a treat, really, and I think it'll just get better and better. Love that groundwork from Kakai. Yeah, I was really impressed by it. I mean, usually a lot of fighters, when they are in that position and the bottom fighter gets up, starts shaking them off, uh, they tend to, you know, slide off. But Kakai just did a great job staying on top. Here we see some of that, as you said, hooking the leg, but he kind of slid a bit too far. He was really going for that knee bar. I mean, I think three attempts. Now let's see who took this one home. All right, we are awaiting the judge's decision. Let's see here. I think you might still be collecting the scores. Obviously not an easy first fight for the judges.
And I think it might be just, you know, small <laughs> things that decided. I mean, uh, I think it really does. Uh, that barrage in the first round. Yeah. How do you score that? Because the fight wasn't stopped. Exactly. That's, that's a hard thing to do, to really know. I mean, how would the judges see that? It, I mean, just the momentum might sway them. And I mean, obviously, Kakai ended very strong in the third round as well. Thrust, yeah, Thrust Kakai, Kaki. Obviously, you want Henrik's one of a lot of hometown fans here in Vesteros representing. Gusteros Fight Club alongside main eventer Tobias Harila. And we are still awaiting the judges' scorecards, but it seems like we have now collected them and we will hand the word off to Ricky Wright. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds of action. We go to the judges' scorecards. The first judge scores about 29 29 a draw, overruled by scores of 30 27. And 29 28 in favor of your winner by majority decision. In the blue corner, Firas Kaki! There we have it. I say that is a fair decision. I think he took it home in the third round. Yeah, I mean, that really, 